at the start of the 1920s, this man, David Wolfe, a family man who worked as a draftsman for the Central Iron and Steel Company in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, began spending more of his leisure time learning about photography. He owned an excellent quality Kodak camera and learned how to develop and print his own pictures. This video is comprised of his work. David and his wife Beulah had their first child on February 22, 1921, a boy they named Ellis. Ellis became a favorite subject of his father's photography. It was clear to David what his photographs would mean to the Wolf family in the long run. For many fathers like David, taking photos of their children is one of the great joys of fatherhood. It's a way to capture their childhoods and create family memories that will be cherished for generations. And while the digital age has made it easier than ever to take and share photos, there's something special about physical photo albums that can't be replicated. There's a sense of nostalgia and sentimentality that comes with flipping through pages of family history. It's a reminder of how much your children have grown and all the precious moments you've shared together. And for fathers, it's a reminder of how blessed they are to have such amazing kids in their lives. In 1924 and 1925, they had two more children, both girls, named Millicent and Beatrice.
the Wolf family enjoyed going on outings together, often around the boiling springs, or camp hill areas where David took pictures of his children playing and exploring. As the 1920s progressed, David's interest in photography grew. He began reading books and magazines on the subject and experimenting with different techniques. He developed a strong interest in portrait photography and enjoyed taking pictures of his family and friends. The Wolf family photos from the 1920s are a beautiful record of a happy family enjoying life together. They provide a precious glimpse into the past and offer us a window into the lives of ordinary people during a time of great change. This is a look at those photographs which survived as the original glass plate negatives and were restored by Paul Holbrook at Camera Americana. Even as a boy, Ellis also developed an interest in photography. He credited his father David for his passion for it. He said, it didn't take me long to buy a little baby brownie camera for a dollar, and I was on my way. The camera didn't produce great pictures, but it showed me what fun it could be to take pictures. I set up a little shelf in the coal bin, and I actually stood on the coal to develop pictures. It was a very real version of the darkroom. Taking pictures and developing them really sparked my interest in the whole process. On March 13, 1937, David Wolfe dropped off his wife in the town of Carlisle for a doctor's appointment. With Millicent and Beatrice with him in the car, he drove around town to kill some time until she was ready to be picked up. At an intersection, David's car was involved in a minor collision with another car. No one was hurt, but the shock and excitement of it were enough to cause pains in his chest after he and the other driver left the scene. When they intensified, he drove back to the doctor's office for help, but collapsed at the wheel. Before he could be rushed away to a hospital in an ambulance, David Wolfe suffered a heart attack and died while still seated in the car. After David's death, Mrs. Wolfe sold their home in 1938 and moved to the Hershey, Palmyra area with Beatrice and Millicent. Ellis remained behind to live with his maternal grandparents in Boiling Springs until he graduated high school. Mrs. Wolf, Beatrice, and Millicent all lived long and productive lives. Mrs. Wolf was the first to pass in 1983 at 92 years old, with Beatrice following in 2013, aged 88. Lastly, Millicent died 2014, aged 90. For the rest of his life, Ellis kept getting better at photography. He was an active member and past president of the Harrisburg Camera Club. Additionally, he belonged to the Photographic Society of America and earned many awards in international competitions. In 1992, Ellis published a book called Images from the Wolf's Den, containing his best photos. However, it is now out of print, but his best examples have been uploaded onto the internet, where you can view them free of charge by doing a Google search for Ellis Wolf Flicker. Ellis had the longest life of anyone in his family. 
Here he is on his birthday, February 22, 2020, celebrating his 99th birthday. He passed away the following May. It was from his estate that Camera Americana acquired these original negatives for this video. We hope you enjoyed taking a look back at these family photos from the 1920s. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe and give us a like.